Hi folks, what I want to show you today is our new Nitro help desk for SharePoint and Office 365. It starts from an employee being able to come into the portal through Nitro Engage and Teams or through phone call or an email, they can create a ticket. And it's a very simple process for them to go and create that ticket. They can submit a new ticket through the portal as you see on the screen right now. They could also submit that ticket through the Nitro Engage app as you can see on the screen right now. And then they can also email in, which will automatically create a ticket in the back end of the Nitro Help Desk. Once it gets into the system, there will be notifications, of course. The user will get a notification that their ticket was received. And then your Help Desk staff could also receive a notification that a ticket has been submitted. There are going to be some SLAs put around that as well. So we have service level agreements that we can put in place. And I'll walk through that in just a little bit. But I wanted to give you a quick overview of the solution uh, before I get to that. You have your, your workspace where users can come in to see the tickets that are assigned to them. So this is going to be your staff that are coming in and working the tickets. Of course, your employees can also come in and see tickets that they have submit, submitted through the portal. So they'll, they'll be tickets that they have submitted here. Uh, they could also come in and search the knowledge base if they wanted to self-help and try to get some assistance before they submit a ticket. That can also be done through the Nitro Engage app as well. So they could come in and search your knowledge base through that app. In the staff workspace, for your backend staff, they can see tickets assigned to them. They can open up a ticket and they can assign it to another user if they're not the person who's supposed to handle it. They could also escalate it to a problem since we have problems in change management. And they could also merge it with an existing ticket or mark it as resolved if the issue is resolved. They could also self-assign if it happens to be an unassigned ticket, they can click the self-assign button to assign it to themselves. Within this tool, there are also a number of reports for managers. So we have a whole manager dashboard with a whole host of different reports that we have in here for ticket trends, ticket load, ticket performance. You can see it pops up with tickets intake over the uh, time, surveys as well as uh, SLA reports. I just want to show you SLA reports. You can see that they show tickets that are overdue, tickets overdue by week. They can see SLA breaches by staff. So this is really important for key performance indicators for your technicians and for yourself to understand how your tickets are being addressed and how quickly they are being handled. To set this up, there's an application administration area for your admins to come in and set up categories and issue types. There's an auto assignment process, which could be rules or skills based routing, or it could be based on the number of tickets coming through the system. There's notifications where you can configure different notifications for your users. There's the service level agreements where you can set up a service level agreement and have different policies, lots of different policies. I recommend the default policy, of course but you can come in and set other policies based on other criteria. You can see there's a whole condition builder, which is very robust and has a lot of options in here for and or conditions, nesting conditions, even nesting conditions with a nesting condition. So you can get pretty far down the line with your conditions that could be based on the department, could be based on location, or could be based on the user who's submitting the ticket. And you can see there's a first reply service level agreement as well as a resolution service level agreement. And then there can also be an escalation. If that service level agreement is breached or the reply has not occurred yet or the resolution has not occurred yet. And you can also send reminders so you can create workflows for those things as well. So a lot of customizability, a lot of configuration here with this uh, tool. There's service level agreements. Uh, there's other advanced systems you can do with occurring tickets. You can set up a service catalog. There's a lot in here, so really recommend you guys setting up a demo with us so you can get into the details of what the system has to offer, how easy it is for users to interact with it, and also how easy it is to configure it to your specific needs. So I hope you found this helpful and look forward to hearing from you for a demo soon. Thank you.